Capricorn, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Remember, we do the oracle card full spread here. I'll flip the camera so we can review all the cards. And then I also have the extended full tarot card spread. That link is down below that includes your romance reading for the next seven days. Capricorn, let's get right to the reading. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. And I want to say before we do anything else, Capricorn, welcome to your year. Also, welcome to the new year. It's going to be new year by the next time I see you guys. So just let me say thank you so much for being a pivotal cornerstone to the success of this channel all year long. Thank you so much for the wonderful start I've had and the wonderful experience I've had. You guys have been the best of the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Happy New Year, Capricorns. Happy New Year. This is a reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Capricorn Energy. So wherever Capricorn influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. Remember, Capricorn, if it doesn't fit, don't squeeze it. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, you're just finding me, please do subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I go live. Capricorn, your crowning energy. Time for a beginner mind and co-create with spirit. You're being called to be a whole new you. You're being called to be ready for a whole new life. You're going to get a very spiritual calling. This is connecting to your deepest, and I know how very intuitive you guys are. So this is, call, this is connecting to your very deepest sense of intuition and allowing yourself to be open-minded to a whole new beginning and a whole new purpose. You have the tools and you have the resources to be able to make a divine success of yourself over this next year. Jupiter is actually literally in your corner. There, It's in your house for the next year until I think the beginning of December of 2020. So as we come through this year and as we turn the corner into 2020, know Capricorn that it's your energy that Jupiter, the, the planet of, of, of good luck and prosperity is going to respond to the most. Get ready because what you're being called to do is start something brand new. Be ready. And the thing is, the porcupine energy is here to let me know that you guys are ready. You've been through the rain, you've been through the storm, you have the spikes, you can protect yourself. Wherever you go, you have what you need. Be wary, just like, in other words, carry your defenses wherever you go, but you do carry your defenses wherever you go. So this is the energy of you being ready to take that leap of faith. And this is wherever you go, you're being led by spirit. You're going to get a spiritual call. And you see this number 17, one plus seven is 18. So in terms of numerology, I'm thinking destiny. I'm thinking fate. I'm thinking one step beyond creation or that element that is in addition to creation. Co-create with spirit. Co-create with that passion or the divine inspiration that's coming through to you. Capricorn, this is the time for you to really listen to your instincts, trust your intuition, and above all, trust yourself because that's the sure voice. You're, you are the microphone for the God that is in you. You know, the peace of God as God speaks through you, you're the microphone. So listen, that's what you have to do. You're listening with your heart. You're making sure that you hear and you receive. And, and how do we receive spirit? We receive spirit at the heart of us. This is telling me that this is a whole new beginning for you or you have the energy in your favor because this is your crowning energy for this week. This is as you go into 2020, Capricorn, you have the energy to begin a whole new life for yourself, to start brand new and fresh, but with the resources and with the smarts and wisdom that you need to be able to have everything that you need. So four plus eight, that's 12, that's three, that's the Holy Trinity. This is a divine connections, inspiration, and destiny. There's no way that you can set up for destiny except that you know that you've already achieved the level of accomplishment you need to be ready for. You already have all the skills. You already have all the knowledge and you already have all the resources. You are ready. So I guess over, overall, in terms of the 3D life that we live, what does this mean for this week? Get ready to start new. Get ready to start new. Be, get ready to, for a new beginning. Get ready to start fresh and be prepared for the fact that you've earned this already. You already have what it takes you already know what it's going to take and you're ready for this. So all you got to do is get going. 
Wow, that's a very certain way to enter the new year. But also, like, I have to say, there is that element of faith. Now, faith isn't just leaping without, without cause or out of desperation. Faith is leaping in the direction that you know you're supposed to go. It's trusting in that intuition that's deep down inside of you. And I do think that you are a very intuitive people. So if you have that instinct and that intuition, this is the time to get to set out on it. This is the time to trust in it. Capricorn energy for the next seven days. Capricorn energy for the next seven days. Um, this also may be a warning coming through. In other words, something coming in from spirit that alarms you or sets off an alarm for you to be ready and prepare yourself because you see how the cards are set up how his back is turned and when porcupine's back is turned you don't really want that so this is definitely listen to spirit and listen to those sort of supernatural warnings or intuitive messages that you're getting because it will alert you to something that you may need to defend yourself against um, in reverse now we have bring a gentle touch and the abundant universe will provide so Bring a gentle touch is a lack of love, either a lack of love or a feeling of isolation or just basically going hardcore, that you're not being gentle. And in other words, abrasive or aggressive. Think, um, think in the tarot deck, the energy of the, the Knight of Swords, just going at it, hacking at it, attacking full speed ahead, attack. So this is, and this is universe saying that the abundant universe will provide. We've got you. You don't have to worry. You have the resources for everything that you need. In other words, really feeling this week that you're ready and that you're prepared and having the energy of just going at it. This is also the energy of you may need to attack somebody or you may need to, you may need to fight back but you'll have all the resources in your corner. Now, if that concerns legal issues, it could very well mean that you'll have, you have all the documents ready, you have all the proof that you need. If it concerns going after a job, you have, you have all the qualifications for the job, you have all the recommendations um, um, and all the references set up. So this is full speed ahead, attack, go ahead, go at it. And whatever attack you're making, it, especially if it's an attack in your defense, there's a sense of you being ready for it and you having what you need um this is be loyal to what you love turned upside down so this is a feeling of detachment from what you love this is a feeling of maybe somebody being disloyal to you or being let down by a person or a circumstance that you really felt was there in your corner take time out no no no. this is not a time to relax or rest this is full speed ahead and gung-ho this is also protective and defensive energy so capricorn this is either you feeling like you need to stick up or stand up and fight for somebody that you love because they've been compromised or this is a feeling of somebody or feeling that you need to defend yourself against somebody that you thought loved you because they're compromising you this has something to do with somebody that you've loved the somebody that you love and defense so you're either defending them or you're defending yourself from them or they're the ones that are giving you the warning that you need to prepare and be ready um claim your independence this is not wanting to be separate from somebody. This is feeling tied or tethered or like you're chained up or you're held captive. This is not wanting to let go, to be totally honest with you. Um, um, not that you're not independent, but this is a sense of almost codependency, not feeling yourself. Maybe this is what you're defending yourself against. Feeling that somebody has been clinging to you or needing you too much to the point where they're like suffocating you and bringing you down and you just feel smothered. Ooh, that's all right, Capricorn. Don't worry about it. You got this. Hold on. Hold on. Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. Now, this is not a time to play. All of these cards are starting out upright, so all of these cards... Something could be sneaking up on you from underneath the surface, but this is definitely, you may have to dig deep. This is not a time to play. This is a time to get to work and be on your guard and be ready. But you are ready. And I think that, but, but just understand that there's something that is not, 
this isn't a joke. This isn't a game. Um, it's not something that you'll be able to brush off easily, which is why this aggressive energy is here. You need to be extremely aggressive this week. Don't sit back and think that everything's going to resolve itself because it won't. In fact, it goes a lot deeper than you think it does. So you need to hack away at all those surface weeds first to get to the root of who's really playing games or what's really affecting you. Um, this could have to do with health because this is healing. But this is sort of your health turned upside down, so it could be compromised health. It could be worries or health scares. It could be a sense of the trouble coming from within, from underneath the surface, underneath the surface of your actual skin, which is why that, you know, disloyal dog showed up. A sense of something that you thought you could depend on, you can't depend on anymore. And that's a real feeling of what if you can't depend on yourself? Not that you don't have the resources or that your wits aren't there, but if your health is compromised, it could be this feeling of you feeling like you're very, very dependent this week. It could just be just a cold for God's sake, you know, but feeling like you're depending or needing two people too much, not wanting to ask for help, ask for help, you're going to need it. Or feeling like you're not getting help, give with gratitude and grace. This is having an abundance. You have two cards of abundance. This is also a sense of you've been giving too much of yourself. You've been giving so much of yourself, you've been making yourself sick. So this is, this. Is, listen, let me tell you why this is coming through at a year that could be very, very good for you. Because you need to cut this shit out. That's why, because this is your biggest challenge. This is your foe. This is what will defeat you and, and, and block you from all that abundance that could be yours next year is if you, as soon as you get something in your life, you find a way to give it all away. This is a sense of maybe even you giving so much you made yourself sick. Yeah. But it's also a sense of you do have the resources to be able to turn this around. You just have to be willing to make your dreams real. Spider energy. You've been trying to, maybe this, this is an energy of controlling, trying to pull the strings, trying to weave, trying to make all the decisions, making everything perfect and, and mapping things out just by your way. And then if people didn't step in the right places, they got caught up and stuck. Maybe this is you having got caught up and stuck in somebody else's web. But I have a strong feeling, Capricorn, this is you getting caught up and stuck in your own web. It's almost like it, it, you made it so convoluted that it trapped you and now you don't know how to get out because a spider web is pretty hard to get out of once you're in it. But this is, in other words, a sense of your, like a, a, an intentional making, a t an intentional creation. So it's either your spider web itself, your intentional creation that made you get stuck because you have built something that is basically too cumbersome for you to keep up anymore. Or this is you being trapped in somebody else's web, somebody that you thought that you could trust and somebody who's basically made it too convoluted for you and you just feel like you're being drained every single day and that you don't have any freedom anymore. Interesting. Trust in divine detours. Oh, Capricorn. You're going to need to take a leap. This is your savior, whether you realize it or not. This is Sagittarius energy. Um, this is Father Jupiter coming in and saying, I'm going to give you an out. I'm going to give you that knife that you need to escape that web, but you're going to have to be willing to take it. And this is think on your feet kind of energy, Capricorn. So there is definitely a light in the dark. And what I say, spirit is coming in to save you. Spirit is going to be there to save you. It's going to provide you the information or provide you the way out. But will you take it? Because this is energy that is very contrary to what you feel safe with. It's about spontaneity. It's about trusting going in a direction that you didn't plan for or you haven't, you know, uh, you haven't um, mapped out yet. So do you have the energy to do that? Do you have the faith to do that? Because you have to this week. It is literally, Sagittarius is getting tested too. There's a big time test energy coming through. It's like how can, can Saturn and Capricorn, Saturn and Jupiter test you? How can they do it? How can they test us? Well, here we have it. Here we know that they can test us in a very tricky way. It's like, what is your Achilles heel? Being able to be spontaneous and not think things, not think forward um, or just trust in a divine detour. But look at one and six is seven. Seven is creation. This is a new opportunity, a new chance for you. Uh, time to collaborate. <laughs> well, 
a new partnership, something that comes out of the blue, maybe somebody that you don't initially uh, want to trust or believe, uh, maybe it's that you don't, oh, I, I see. Honestly, the trick is actually not trying to do it all yourself, but learning how to work with others. That's the detour and that's the grounding energy. The grounding energy will be the way that you collaborate with others and also navigating, uh, basically seeing the right way to work with people as in um, not letting them control you too much or not, not letting it have to be about hierarchy and control, but it, about collaboration and just working together as equals. You know, somebody's got the top, the other person's got the bottom, and maybe you switch sides every six hours. That type of working together and distributing the work um, instead, of, instead of wielding it and whittling it and making all the decisions and having to control everything and plot everything, um, being able to, not, not that you don't plan, but be able to plan on somebody else mattering and contributing as much as you do. You know, allow this to happen, allow this person in to come in and help you. There's this very grounding energy of um, um, doing something different, and that is sharing the workload. Hold on, I'm gonna turn the camera around. So here we go, Capricorn. Here we have your full spread. Beautiful. This grounding energy is really interesting because it's a, a lesson to be taught and learned of um, trust and divine detours. So something that you're not comfortable with is what you're being asked to trust to trust in. And this is co-creating with people. What does it say? Co-creating with spirit. That's your crowning energy of co-creating with something that you can't even see something that you have to have faith in, being open and receptive. The biggest help this week is going to come from sort of divine intervention and guidance you're gonna get messages. Um, mess yeah, yeah, actual messages. It could come in the form of dreams because um, Raven is very connected to the spirit world. He's the totem of a lot of um, uh, witches and wizards, uh, a shaman. It, it's a it's it's a it's a go between between the world that's unseen and the world of the land of the living, the land of us. You know, of of what we can see, the the unknown and the known. And so, understand that you have that connection this week. You have that. Use it. Use it, or be ready and defend yourself. Or this is your crowning energy of you wanting to defend yourself from something that's coming through that you don't want to hear or you don't want to recognize. This is, could very well be a, a bad news coming in that's going to make you very upset and put you on the defensive. Um, could be about your health. Could be about somebody that you love, somebody's health, or or somebody being um, somebody but somebody being unstable. But definitely, there's this energy of don't be, do not go gentle this week. Be very aggressive with whatever is attacking you, because it does stand to um, it does stand to be um, very formidable. Um, there's also this energy here over here of don't mess around with this. This isn't playing. There's something underneath the surface, and it could very well have been an attack by you on yourself. Like I said, giving too much of yourself to the point where you exhausted yourself and just wore yourself out, wore your assets out, wore your resources out. This is definitely a drain or a strain on your resources. Uh, you do have the, listen, you do have the ability to fit, heal this. You do have the ability to fix this. But I think it has a lot more to do with what lies within you than what is external to you because there has been a diminishing of your sense of self, of your independence, um, like I said, this could be something that has tied you down or tied you up or tethered you in ways that you really don't like feeling. This is a feeling of lack of control and a loss of yourself. Um, this is also an energy of making your dreams real, right? Uh, so let's get to work. Let's do it. But in a way that is different, working with somebody, maybe working with somebody that you don't didn't necessarily want to ask the help of. But working with them, because this is this is the key to your success. This is the key to you getting out of any kind of trouble or strife, strife or or um, um, difficulty this week. You've got the key. You've got the key right here to work with somebody, not against somebody. Don't work on your own. That's sort of what's tying you up and like 
sort of crucifying you or there's this energy of like being stuck or caught in a, a spider's web but it could have been a web of your own device so this is like reassessing where you place your resources let me go a little bit deeper into maybe the particular dangers or where the threat is particularly coming from. Um, also means of escape, but we do have the means of escape. So let's go over to tarot, clarify everything with a full spread, and we're also going to go into your romance reading. I will see you over there, Capricorn. The link is below.